Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to reschedule video content on your Facebook page. So let's open up the web browser and you can see I'm logged into my Facebook page here and um, over here you can see videos. So you've got YouTube, these are videos that come from YouTube. So this is like a little plugin to show videos that you're uploading to YouTube. But actual native videos or the ones that you upload to Facebook itself will be displayed in video content here. So I'm just going to double click here. That seems to load the page a lot quicker when you double click. And these are all the video content that I've uploaded to YouTube directly. Now, the reason I'm making this tutorial is if you were to upload a video content, let's say some tutorial or something you're speaking about or some news item or something about your business, whatever it might be. If you were to upload that today, maybe only a handful of people will ever get to see it, right? Maybe one or two people will see it and then it kind of gets left in your timeline and then it's highly unlikely it's going to get reseen later. So the objective is to reschedule your content, different pieces of content over different days so that people get to re-see your content if they missed it um, or if they want to re you know, look at it again, for example. They may have looked at it briefly, but you can remind them to look at it again by rescheduling it. So if I scroll down, if I click videos here and scroll down, I'm going to go to video library. When I click on video library, here it will load a page and show you all of the video content. So this is one page of content you can see that I normally upload quite often right to YouTube. And normally I upload lots of videos. So you can see on the 1st of September I uploaded tons of videos and then you know I'll give it a break and then I'll upload loads more. Most of my content goes up onto YouTube first and then once I've scheduled it there I reschedule it into or re-upload it to Facebook later and post it at a slightly different time on a slightly different day. I try not to post the same exact content on YouTube and Facebook at the very same time. Uh, try and give it a bit of a break between the two, right? You don't want repetition too much. So uh, the objective is to reschedule lots of our content over a period of a day. And if I click this arrow on the side here at the top, you can see all the different pages of video content that I have. So there's probably about 400 videos that I've uploaded to Facebook. And I've got a similar amount of content, probably more on YouTube, right? So I'm going to click on the browser and just drag it to the side. I want a space down this side here and I'll explain why we have that space in a moment. And I'm going to go to the very first tab. So I'm going to click left click here and make sure I'm looking at the very first page. And what I want to do is just show you how to take this video content that you've already uploaded and reschedule it so you don't have to re-upload it and go through all the headache of doing that. You can you just reschedule it from here. So let's take for example, what I'll do is um, on any of these videos, I'm going to middle mouse click, right? So I'm going to use my middle mouse button and I'm going to click once, twice, three times, and then four times. So I can click any on any of these videos using the middle mouse button four times. And you'll notice that it's, upload, it's loaded four separate tabs at the top here, right? Four of them here. And then I'll go to the next page. I'll click the arrow and then I'll click three, or three times here, for example, one, two, three, and then I'll go to the next page and I'll click twice here, then go to the next page and maybe I'll click three times and I'll go to the next page and click twice here and keep going and keep, keep clicking them, right? And you're gonna get lots and lots of tabs. Normally I have about 30, 40 tabs loaded up here as I'm going across. I'll just pick maybe three from here and then I'll click uh, maybe four from here. And all I want is three or four videos from each page that I'm gonna reschedule. And I've opened loads of tabs across the top here. And normally I reschedule my content during the day. And then when it's at late hours between sort of 1 a.m. and 6 a.m. or something like that, normally I only schedule a handful of videos. And I normally do this a day in advance so that I don't have to worry about that. Or I do it really early in the morning. So when I get up in the morning, maybe I'll run this schedule for the whole day and then I can just forget about it, right? So let's, this is the tab. This is the first tab that we open. Um, I'm going to go all the way back to the beginning again on this first tab. So I'm looking at the beginning again and I'm going to click on this second tab. So when I click on the second tab, I can select any video that I want here. And let's just say, for example, I want to look at this YouTube. I want to reschedule it, right? It was uploaded, uh, it was scheduled on the 3rd of September and that's like five days ago, for example. So let's, let's repost this video. So I'm going to click on it. And you'll notice that um, there's a thumbnail down here. This is where it's been scheduled once, and it will show you all the times here that it's been that it's been scheduled. So you can see you've got a bit of stats here that you can look at. Maybe we'll go through stats at another time. Uh, but what I want to do is right-click on this thumbnail down here, the little one right here. I'm going to right-click on it, 
click save image as save image as and then go to my desktop and click save so I've got a copy of the thumbnail if I click it you'll see it's high resolution or a large thumbnail because you can see up here it doesn't have that same thumbnail right there's two different thumbnails here so this is one that's automatically generated by uh, Facebook and this is the one that I actually uploaded so this is the one that the people will see on Facebook when they look at my video they see YouTube free sound effects so that's more enticing than looking at this which doesn't really show anything to do with sound effects because it's just a random thumbnail that Facebook decided to generate right so right click here save image as and you get a copy of it click create post with video here create post with video and then uh, we'll click thumbnail click add image and then we'll go to my desktop select that thumbnail click open click next schedule and then I'll just set this to 12 15 and click schedule and then forget about this this is done now go to the next tab I'll pick a different video let's say something like um, let's do this planet one right planet here I'll click it and you can see the thumbnail is actually okay but it's not the original thumbnail so this one depends right if you want to use the original one you've got to right click here save image as save it then click create post with video and then you can click thumbnail here now here you've got option to use some of YouTube's auto generated thumbnails so something like this one here would be okay right it shows the planet it shows the blender interface and that could be quite interesting so we use that one instead of the default one or you can just right click save it and use that one as well but we'll use this one for example and click schedule and then we'll schedule this to 1230 so that's 1230 today we'll click the next tab so once you've clicked that schedule button you can just move straight to the next tab and we'll use something like this Microsoft Word one right this is like a word tutorial now you'll notice with this one I haven't worked out why Facebook does this but sometimes it will show the correct thumbnail as default and sometimes it won't so I don't even need to download this thumbnail this is actually the correct one that I uploaded for the project or for the video and here you can see I scheduled it twice right on the first time it got 296 views then it got 21 views uh, and last time it was scheduled was uh, let's see is the date here the 6th so it was about two days ago so I'm going to click create post and it's already got the right thumbnail I'm going to click next schedule and I'll schedule this at let's say uh, 1245 so I've got three videos that I normally schedule during sort of lunch hours because I want people people have more time to look at that content during lunch hours right so if I go back to this first tab here it will tell you it's been scheduled I'll go to this one it tells you it's been scheduled I'll go to this one it tells you it's been scheduled and I'm going to go to the next tab and I'm going to speed this up a little bit just to show you how I do this a bit quicker so I'll click on this these thumbnails on the side I'll delete them I don't need them anymore I'll right click here save image as save it schedule the post we'll click uh, the thumbnail add it scroll down select this thumbnail click next schedule and we we'll do 1305 schedule that move to the next tab and you remember here I was I was using the tabs here so I'm not using the videos from the first page I've moved on to another separate tab page where you can see videos that are a bit older from like the 6th of September or from the 13th of August and all these other dates right so these dates down here will tell you the last time you scheduled the post so this was like a couple of days ago I did this one so this one here was on like the 20th of August so let's um let's click this one and the thumbnail is already generated it's correct it's the correct thumbnail so we we'll click next schedule and we we'll do 13 30 1 30 and then I'll go to the next tab so you can kind of see what's going on here hopefully I'll click on this one we'll do a few and then I'll stop this uh, examples but I just want to show you how to do it quite quick we'll click here thumbnail we'll select that thumbnail we'll click next and then we'll set it to 1430 that's 230 go next one and we'll do this tutorial in fact we'll do the other one let's close this we'll do the first part you can see the thumbnail there and you can see the how many times I've rescheduled it right the first time I scheduled it it got 217 it reached 217 people then it reached 25 then it reached 19 then it reached 32 then 13 so depending on the day depending on the time there's a lot of things that are going to be factoring where this video got shown and if you notice if you look at the stats a little bit on this particular video you will see the date and but you'll see the time underneath so um, you can kind of work out when did it get the most views right at 4 35 in the morning 
for whatever reason it got 30 it reached 32 people but it didn't get much views right the one that got the most was at 11 15 so around 11 15 seems to be the best time to schedule this particular video so once you've scheduled it quite a few times you can get some stats and you can work out from your stats when is the optimum time to display this video so i'm going to right click here and save image as and we'll click next select the video and it was around 11 15 so i can't do 11 15 today so i'm going to set it for monday 11 20 11 20 right 11 20 click schedule and we do two more so let's click this one and then we'll be done let's right click here save image as and we'll select that thumbnail today we'll set at 4 30 and hopefully you get the idea of how to do this it is a bit repetitive i won't lie it's very very it's not the most exciting task on the planet but what i found is my subscribers increase the amount of views i think will increase everything will increase basically right on your channel you're getting a lot more traffic or you're getting a lot more not traffic but more um enticing content you're getting a lot of content out there which is video based and people like to watch a lot of videos right people don't really want to read too much often they want to especially if they're working or they're on their way home or whatever it might be most people don't, some people like to read don't get me wrong but most people would rather sit there and watch a video than um, read something if you can share knowledge via your videos a lot of my videos are educational based so they're going to be about learning to do something um, so that that works quite well for me, especially on YouTube. Uh, and the reason why I make learning videos is, is there's two two benefits. One, I learn something myself, which is important for me. And then number two, I get to share that knowledge with other people, which helps my business. Right? It shows that I've got credibility. It shows that I've got knowledge to share, um, and it shows that you're competent in your your field, whatever that might be, whether you're IT or you know whatever sort of things that you're doing. If you can share knowledge then you're in a good place so we'll just do this one in fact i'm just going to finish today i'm already at nine o'clock so i might as well just get a few more done let's click next here schedule 22. And the idea is to spread your videos throughout the whole day if you can spread your content throughout a long duration then um and do that consistently right so don't just do it for one day do it try and do it every day and some days you may only do two or three videos and other days you may do a whole day's worth uh, it's entirely your choice uh, there's no set rules or anything and obviously some days you're going to miss it because you're busy doing something else but if you can consistently get content up there and fresh new content as well don't keep rescheduling the same old boring thing over and over then it gets repetitive and then you know it's not going to be great so you want lots and lots of video content and schedule that at different times throughout the day so this will be the last one and normally what i do now is i want to close all of my tabs so let's just imagine we've got to the very end right and we did all of these to close the tabs i just right click here and say close other tabs and then it will close them all down i'd have to close them one by one but one by one is long we'll click um here on page and then we'll click on insight here and then here you can get to see a few of the stats right like reached over 4,000 people organically it's up 28 percent um i haven't done much this week but um you can see like page previews and some statistics here um you can see like how much engagement you received and how many time how many sort of uh what is this videos this is uh i think this is the number of videos what does this say the number of times that your page videos were played right for at least three seconds so um 2511 in the last seven days which is pretty good right but it's down 16 percent because this week i was busy doing other stuff and i didn't get enough time to uh, publish so many videos but if you can get two and a half thousand people watching your video content every week and then some of that you can convert into uh, some potential leads for your business then you can see it's got some potential right and then these are how many people followed my page so i've got 30 new followers 
and then you see all all sorts of other stats here you can see that sort of granular stats about your videos and stuff like that and um, let's see what I want to try and see let's go back to my page and uh, here you can see 1873 right and 40 new uh, this week so this last seven days I generated 40 more likes and loads and loads more followers 2035 followers so these people are following my page and they're interested in my content and these people that like my page that will also see my content so my YouTube uh, or my Facebook page is growing and I'm using um, you know a lot of I'm re reusing a lot of the content that well pretty much all the content I'm uploading to YouTube I'm just repurposing that that same content and just uploading it to Facebook so I'm not actually doing any more work apart from uploading and rescheduling the work on Facebook so it's almost like um, content for free in many ways right so hopefully you find this tutorial useful I'm gonna minimize this I'll normally I'll select all of these thumbnails first and delete them and that's how I go about rescheduling my content on Facebook using um, that particular method if you know of a quicker method if you know there's some way that you can upload some magic spreadsheet and it will do it all for you please let me know I found no other way of doing it that is kind of the best way that I found to do it I've tried loads of different things to work out how can I get the last 50 videos that I've uploaded how can I reschedule them quickly without having to re-upload them and do the descriptions and the thumbnails so if you're taking that that approach where you're re-uploading your content you're wasting your energy there you can just do that and within like you know half an hour at the most you can reschedule all your content throughout the whole day and you can reschedule in the future as well so it doesn't have to be done on that particular day you could do five videos uh, a day for the whole week so then all you got to do is reschedule 25 videos and you can have that running for the whole week so if you're going to be away or if you're away from your business for a while um, you can at least get some sort of content pushed out on a regular basis right rather than your channel or your your facebook page just going static and sort of silence right you don't really want that right okay so that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you on the next dcp web tutorial